Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial as I show you how I play Amos Moses by an entertainer and guitarist that I have always admired, Jerry Reed on electric guitar. The guitar is tuned standard, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we're going to start with the intro where we're going to be doing some picking. And it'll sound like this. Now the very first thing we're going to need to learn to do is some chicken picking. We're going to do that like this. And that'll get us into the intro. Now what I'm doing is putting my finger on the fifth fret and just touching the strings like that. I'm using my index finger at fret 5 and I'm going to peck the strings like that. Now I'm just barely touching the strings, not putting any pressure on them, okay? So I can get that muted sound. I'm using my middle finger to pick up on the G string, and I'm using my pick to play the A string. So I'm going to do this. And that's going to get me into the intro. So we'll start by going to the low E string, fret 3. We're going to strike that and bend it downward toward the neck of the guitar. And then we're going to play the A string like that. So we've got this. Then we'll follow with this. In order to get this played, I'm going to be picking with my guitar pick on the A string and D string and using my middle finger to pick upward on the B string and the G string. I'm going to go to the D string at fret 7, play that note, then go to fret 5 on the G string, play that note and bend it up a little and I'm going to pick that note with my middle finger. Then I'll come back to fret 7, and that's on the D string, and then I'll go back to the low E string, fret 3, bend it a little bit, and then I'll pluck the G string again. So that's... Now, for the intro, I'm going to play this. So once we get going, we're going to be repeating this riff. Notice that I'm throwing in a ghost strum that I'm muting up here on my D string. Like that. Throwing that in between. Here we go again. that up it sounds like this
Now let's get the chords for the verses. For the verses, we're going to play this. <laughs> Our first chord, we're playing an A7, formed this way, and that's with the open A string, like that. We've got a finger on the D string, fret 7, the G string, fret 6, and the B string, fret 8. We'll raise that a whole step, and we'll get a B7. We'll go back down to the fifth fret and play a D7 like this. For that one, I'm borrowing fret 5 from the A string down, bringing in a finger to the D string fret 7 and the B string fret 7. And that's our D7. As far as the strumming goes, we're playing That's down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Now for the chorus, we'll need to go to an E7 chord. Now that fingering is the same as our D7. It's just a whole step up. Okay, so we'll go to our E7. D7. A7. E7. D7. A7, E7, drop down to a C7, and that's at the third fret, same form, and then we'll move up to a D major chord like this. For that D major, we're just holding down the A string at fret 5 and barring everything from the D string down at fret 7 and we'll struck it like that. So we played it this way. After we do our D major chord, we'll have to play this. Now that chord is a D7 suspended 4. We're barring fret 5 from the A string down, bringing in a finger to the D string fret 7 and the B string fret 8 and we're picking notes from it. We'll start by picking the chord this way. So we started by using the pick to play the A string, the middle finger to play the B string, the pick on the D string, the middle finger to play the G string. So, we'll go back to the D string, pick it and hammer on from 5 to 7, play the G string, and then pull up on the B string. So here's the entire thing. After that, we'll play this.
So what we did is we played the A string open, back to five. As we're holding that down with our index finger, we're going to play the D string fret five, hammer on to fret six, and then fret seven. So that's and then take the middle finger, pull up on the G string, pick the D string, and then pull up on the B string. And that's at fret 8. So it's So here's the entire thing one more time. And after that, we'll do this. And that'll get us back into the song again. So. Here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to play fret 7 on the G string and pull off to fret 5. And then I'm going to hammer on to fret 7 on the D string. Like that. So it's Once I do that, I'm going to take my pick and my middle finger and mute by touching the strings very gently, not squeezing them, just touching them. And I'm going to pick this on the G and A string. So I've got this muted and I'm going to use my middle finger, the pick, middle finger. Then I'll play the A string open. So. And then I'm back into my groove. So here's the entire thing. And now I'm back into the intro of the song. Here's how we're going to do it. Well, with that, we've covered all the parts of this song. That's Amos Moses by Jerry Reed from 1970. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. <laughs>